Welcome back to the OpenFort gaming integration series. Today we delve deeper into the Unity in-app purchasing system, focusing on more advanced features. With industry leaders like Apple and Google enforcing specific regulations for apps with blockchain functionalities, especially those implementing in-app purchases, ensuring compliance is essential to secure a spot in their app stores. To help you navigate these requirements, we'll be demonstrating a hands-on example. After logging in and creating a new OpenFort player, we find this shop. We can choose to buy gold, which is a currency created in Unity Gaming Services Cloud uh, backend, and we can choose to buy an ERC721. Uh, let's see what happens if we choose to buy gold, which will activate Unity in-app purchasing system. We can purchase the gold and we will receive 50 gold for $5 uh, in this case. And now we can swap these coins, this Web2 currency, for actual ERC20 tokens, which have a rate of 1 to 10. We have purchased the tokens. As you see, we have 400 ERC20 tokens, and now we can try to buy the ERC721, and we can do it by many ways. We can buy it with um, Unity in-app purchasing system, or with gold, or with ERC20 tokens, which have, in this case, a discount. We have purchased the NFT. We don't have the tokens anymore. And if we go to the inventory, we can sell the NFT, or we can see the NFT and sell it for the same ERC20 tokens amount. So after selling is successful, we receive our ERC20 tokens back. And as you see, we now have 400 again, and we would be able to buy the ERC721 again. So all this is because Apple says that you cannot buy um, ERC20 tokens directly with a in-app purchase. So first you need to buy uh, in-game gold, which is a Web2 currency. And from there you can swap to ERC20 tokens and then you can buy the NFT. And the NFT, yes, you can buy it directly with uh, in-app purchase or with gold or with ERC20 tokens. So let's see uh, how we do all this. So before we start, please go watch our previous video on Unity in-app purchase system as this sample follows the same, almost the same setup as the previous sample. So go watch this video and now let's go see uh, the differences from uh, this one. So in OpenFort dashboard, you need to have the same contracts that uh, we do with it, also the same gas policy. So the only difference here is in developer accounts, create a new one, uh, you can call it minting account. So this one we will be selling, we will be transferring our NFTs to uh, this account. And the treasury account is the other account, the one that holds the ERC20 tokens. So this one, you already have it, uh, just create the minting account one. That's it for open for dashboard. For Unity Cloud, the only difference is that you need to add a new currency, a new in-game currency to your cloud project. So go to economy section, configuration, and add a new resource and select currency. So I already did it. Uh, so make sure that the one you add, it looks like this. And the most important thing is that you name the resource ID as gold, like I do here. And that's it for uh, Unity Cloud. For the Cloud Code modules, the only difference is that now we have a new variable representing the minting account. So you will need to fill it uh, with the ID in the open for dashboard. So just go there and copy the ID and paste it here. Also, I added a new publish profile to the project. So now you can deploy directly the solution and this will automatically zip all the files and deploy the cloud code modules to Unity Cloud. Finally, you will need to have an Apple developer account and have enrolled to the Apple developer program, which costs $99. This will give you access to App Store Connect and also make sure you 
add the agreements, tax, and banking data that you need to fill here in order to be able to test in-app purchase system. Now in Unity, go to File, Build Settings, make sure you install the iOS platform, and go to Player Settings. And here, make sure you link to your existing cloud project. And then go to Environment, select your environment. Make sure in-app purchases is enabled and you have Apple App Store here. And that's it. One interesting thing to look at, apart from looking at the controllers and see all the new additions that we made, is going to the scripts and open game constants. And here you see that we have the UGS currency ID, which is in this case gold. So this references to this in-game currency. So if you put another name, just please go here and change it. And also we have all the currency rates, so you can swap this here. And also all the cloud code modules names in this constant, so it's uh, better for code readability and as a good practice. So with everything set up, let's go ahead and build this 2x code. So let's go to File, Build Settings, make sure you have installed and switched to the iOS platform, and let's hit on Build. I will add a new folder named Builds here, and I will choose this. So let's wait a bit for this to complete. So the build is successful, and what I like to do is to choose Build and Run again, and this will, I will choose a band, and this will open Xcode automatically for us. Xcode opened, and obviously build failed because we need to sign this with our Apple developer account. So first in general, we will delete these platforms because we don't need it, and also select the project former to your Xcode version. And in signing and capabilities, let's go ahead and log in with your account. If you don't have it here, at uh, the Apple developer account and select your team right here. So uh, this automatically creates a certificate for us. And we can go ahead and choose build, which in my case is command B. And we'll be waiting for a bit. Build succeeded and now we need to archive. So go to product and choose archive. And let's wait a bit more. Archive is successful and now you could choose validate app, but I'll choose distribute app directly, but I recommend you do that. And also I select test fly and app store because I want to test it internally, but also invite some external testers. So I will choose this method and let's choose distribute. Because of we selected automatic signing in signing and capabilities, now Xcode offers to create the app and everything needed for us, so that's amazing. Let's select also the language, and you see this is the bundle identifier, the same that we set up in Unity. If we go to Unity and player settings on other settings, we'll see that it's the same bundle identifier. So let's go ahead and choose next. And this will create the app for us. Amazing, the app has been created. We can click on done. And if we go to App Store Connect to Apps, we will see our newly created app. This is an old mine. A newly created app. This is an old one of mine inside your app because we're preparing this for internal testing and test flight. You don't need to do a lot of things. Just go to in-app purchases and let's add it manually. Before Unity provided um, an XML delivery plugin to add the products automatically, but something happened and they don't offer it anymore. So we need to do it manually. So let's click here, select non-consumable, and we're gonna type gold. And the product ID, this is important. Let's go to Unity in Services in App Purchasing. 
you know our catalog so this is the id i set for the gold so let's create and now also important make sure you fill all this this is needed in order to test uh, later this is important okay you need to add and a screenshot with specific dimensions so i think i prepared one for this um i think in this case it's these dimensions so upload it all right so let's hit save and if everything's okay we will go back and this will be ready to submit so let's do the same for the other so now that we have the in-app purchases let's go to test flight and let's select well let's manage the missing compliance select none here save and now we'll be able to use and test this build also uh, go to internal testing and let's create a group and this is uh, correct create and this is ready to test add your email testers go to test flight and open the app okay so hopefully you can apply the same or a similar workflow to your app and make it compliant with these new Apple regulations towards blockchain. See you on the next one. Bye bye.